hurt. I was 15 years old when I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer, and I'm 38 years old now. I was diagnosed after having pain in my right shin for months and months uh, while playing football and swimming, and I figured it must be a sports-related fatigue injury. Finally, I got x-rays from a sports medicine doctor, and thankfully, he knew exactly what he was looking at and referred me to Children's for further treatment. I had a tumor on my tibia bone, um, which was removed and reconstructed with a large bone allograft, which is just a piece of bone from a cadaver. And that took many, many years to uh, become infected and eventually fall apart. We ended up performing an amputation of my right leg uh, from the mid thigh down. But I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have been able to complete an orthopedic surgery residency with the leg I had then, whereas I could, I could do it pretty well on a prosthetic leg. I am an orthopedic oncologist. That is an orthopedic surgeon who looks after cancer on and around the skeleton. I also have a basic science laboratory where I try to understand the ways that bone cancer spreads from the skeleton into the lungs. Being a teenage cancer patient without question informed my decision to go into medicine and to become an orthopedic cancer doctor. I work now with a lot of physicians who treated me, and it's pretty wonderful. The way that my experience as a cancer survivor changes or affects the way I treat my patients is that I can say to them, look, this is a rotten day you're having when I diagnose them. This is probably the worst day of your life. But I had a rotten day too about 20 years ago, and it wasn't fun and it wasn't easy, but I got through it, and you can too. I would say that they need to be involved for two very important reasons. First of all, from a completely selfish standpoint, they need to know the sorts of issues that they need to be on the lookout for as they grow into adulthood. And that's the kind of answers that we're trying to gain with the clinic at Children's. Secondly, uh, and this is something I think a lot about, I've lost a lot of friends to pediatric cancer and I feel like it's my job to live well for them and their families. And part of that means being involved in programs like the Clinic of Children's that are gonna help people down the road. To me, being a survivor means that uh, you don't just high-five yourself and your treatment team for getting you through. It's important to reach your hand back and help the people that are coming after you, such that no wisdom is lost, no knowledge is lost, and that everything that people have gone through matters.